The VFW is fortunate to have a long-standing relationship with a truly outstanding company. The United States Automobile Association, or better known as USAA, has been a stalwart supporter of veterans, service members, and their families dating back to its founding in 1922. Through our alliance with USAA, providing banking, financial advice, and property and casualty insurance to our VFW members, and has supported numerous VFW endeavors over the years. And I'm proud to welcome our next guest, a man who knows about service and assisting veterans, USS USAA's Chief Executive Officer, Stuart Parker. For nearly 10 years of service in the United States Air Force, he earned his VFW eligibility. That's right, he's a VFW member and bravely flying combat missions during Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm. After receiving his wings through the Euronation Joint Jet Pilot Program, Parker was selected as an instructor pilot on T-38 Talons and became a wing flight examiner. He went on to fly the C-141 Starlifter as an instructor aircraft commander. He finished out his Air Force career in various staff positions at the Air Training Command Headquarters in San Antonio, Texas. And so, at this time, I bring you the head of USAA, a VFW member, Stuart Parker. Stuart. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. You too. Thank you for this time. Well, thank you, uh, Colonel uh, Commander Brzezki. It's just a fantastic opportunity to be here. It's great to be with the VFW, the auxiliary, your family, special guest. I'm just so grateful for the support that you give veterans and their families. The VFW and USAA share common missions. Just as you take care of those who have served and advocate on their behalf, USAA, we are here to facilitate the financial security of the military members and their families. I'd like to share a story with you about one of the veterans we serve. It's a person who was struggling during his transition to civilian life. His name is Master Sergeant Chris Colbert. He's the father of four. He served in the Army for 22 years and was awarded three Bronze Star Medals. Unfortunately, his military career was ended by a roadside bomb. We all know veterans who have had similar experiences. When Sergeant Colbert returned home, he was suffering from a traumatic brain injury. Unfortunately, his marriage was falling apart and he was feeling overwhelmed. He had a big mortgage, a high interest car loan, and credit card debt that continued to grow. In a letter that he wrote to USAA, Sergeant Colbert described himself as a broken man in body and in soul, whose financial life was in shambles. He said at one point when he had a $500 repair bill for his car, he had to decide whether he was going to fix his car or feed his family. So he turned to USAA to get his life back on track. And we were able to provide him with the advice and the support that he needed to refinance his car and his mortgage, to consolidate that high interest debt into a much lower interest personal loan. But more importantly, we helped him set up a budget and to start saving for his emergency fund. Well, the good news is that we checked in recently with Sergeant Colbert, and he reported that for the first time in his adult life, he has no credit card debt. He's raised his credit score. Isn't that amazing? Yes, thank you. He raised his credit score to over 700, and he has over $8,000 saved in his emergency fund. And now he's taken the step from being a saver to being an investor. Sergeant Colbert said that USAA invested in him and helped him turn his life around. Many vets 
struggle just to simply find a place to rest their head. Being part of USAA has given me and others at USAA the opportunity to serve not only those on active duty, but also those veterans who have fallen on hard times. Across our nation, one out of three homeless individuals are veterans. That means that tonight, over 300,000 veterans do not have a safe, comfortable place to sleep. This is a national tragedy. I recently visited Haven for Hope in San Antonio. It's one of the nation's largest homeless transformational campuses. Each night, about 1,600 homeless individuals sleep there, and many of them are veterans. And it broke my heart to talk to those people who had bravely served our country. Some of them were lonely, and many of them were struggling. So at USAA, we set a goal right then and there to bring an end to veteran homelessness in our home city. We made a $2 million investment. We teamed up with the city of San Antonio, and I'm proud to announce that this spring, we achieved our goal. If you are a homeless veteran in San Antonio, we have a warm, safe place for you to sleep tonight. And as I was talking to the, the mayor of Charlotte backstage, they are on the journey as well. And we're going to continue to go beyond San Antonio. We have campuses in Arizona, Colorado, Florida, and Virginia. And we'll turn our attention there next. But USAA is also committed to helping vets find meaningful work as they transition back to civilian life. Here are some veterans enrolled in a program we have at USAA called VetFit. These students attend a 22-week internship and training program to become software developers in our IT department. And through another program, Hiring Our Heroes, we are working with other companies around the country to tap into that unique value that vets offer. Because we know that vets have a strong work ethic. They have great team building skills, and they live by their core values. We know that because at USAA, over the last 10 years, we've hired over 10,000 individuals from the military community. Thank you. And by the way, going forward, our goal is to have over 30% of all of our new hires to either be a veteran or a military spouse. Well, we know that financial readiness is a challenge facing many active duty military members and also veterans. I can still remember as a very young boy, my father working to support our family by day, he served our country as a technical sergeant in the Air Force, and at night and on weekends, he worked at a convenience store to help provide for us. And today, over 50% of enlisted individuals are living paycheck to paycheck. They're struggling to make ends meet on very modest incomes. And USAA is there to provide tools and advice to help all of our members take financial control of their lives. And that's whether they're paying off debt, saving for their children's college education, or simply just planning for their own retirement. This year, we will conduct over 1,000 financial readiness presentations at military installations across our country. Clearly, the core values of the VFW and USAA are aligned. And we've only just begin, begun to scratch the surface of what's possible. I'd like to show you a video of a VFW family who are also USAA members and also highlight one of our USAA employees. Now this story illustrates better than I ever could the unlimited potential of our partnership. Let's show you the video. Hi, my name is Presty Long. I've worked at USAA for 20, almost 24 years. I actually met Mr. Barrett at the St. Louis VFW convention and uh, had an opportunity to be able to actually talk to Mrs. 
uh, Barrett, Marsha Barrett over the phone. She had an IRA with another uh, bank that she wanted to move to USAA. She called me one day, I believe it was about time for me to leave to go to see my doctor. She was not feeling well. I could actually tell by speaking with her in her voice that something was not right. I think I talked to you like on Monday after I'd had my blood transfusion on Friday and I said I'm going in and having some more tests done this week and she called me to check and she says let me have the good news. Give me the good news Mrs. Barrett, give me the good news of the results and she said unfortunately I can't Cressy, it's bad news. The doctor told me on the 19th of December that I have renal cell carcinoma. I said they're wanting me to have surgery as soon as possible. The benefit of working for this company is that they are more than just a member. Um, they are people and uh, when we speak with them, especially as we are helping them plan for their lives, it's hard not to be involved with their personal side of it as well. Yeah, I was, I'm really happy that uh, her and my wife hit it off. And that helped my wife quite a bit. She called me almost every week to check see how are you doing are you doing what the doctors ask you to do <laughs> I had already come to know her very well and I knew if anyone can beat this it would be Mrs. Barrett so I felt very confident at that time that she was going to make it through this and I specifically told her I will see you at the VFW convention in Pittsburgh you will be there and you will make it through and she did I was amazed, you know, that somebody from a company as big as USAA would take the time to call me, check on me, make sure that I was doing what I was supposed to do. I've got two extended families. <laughs> I have the USAA and I also have the Ladies Auxiliary and the Veterans of Foreign War, so, you know. You folks care for me as a person and you're going to take care of whatever I entrust to you as you would your own stuff. USAA cares. Wasn't that a heartwarming story? Well, by caring for men and women who serve our nation and treating them like individuals, not like numbers, the VFW and USAA is fulfilling our mission together. We're fortunate to have Mr. and Mrs. Barrett and Pressy Long with us, and I'd just like to ask them to stand so we can recognize them and, and thank them. Please, are right here. Thank you, thank you again, Mr. and Mrs. Barrett, Pressy. Thank you for being here today. Well, on behalf of over 29,000 USAA employees and 11 and a half USAA members, I just want to thank you again for allowing me to share my thoughts today. We all look forward to accomplishing even greater things in the future. Thank you so much for your time.